Welcome back. So we've been talking about fundamental limitations on robustness and stability and shaping loop transfer functions. And sometimes you can invert your plant model and shape your loop transfer function by designing your controller K so that your loop looks uh, has desirable properties. But in general, inverting plant dynamics can be a pretty bad idea. So I want to give you some very cautionary um, tails. So like, let's say I have some plant P and I have some controller K and I'm going to try to invert P so that I get a good transfer function. So that the transfer function looks like one, something like that. Well, let's say that P equals uh, let's make it, okay, let's make it s plus 10 divided by s minus 5. So we're in the Laplace transform domain. This is a system with a pole, a right half plane pole, and s equals plus 5. And so if I draw this in the complex plane, I have a pole at s equals plus 5, and I have a zero way out here at s equals minus 10. And we know that an, a pole in the right half plane is unstable because this uh, 1 over s minus 5 corresponds to something in the time domain that looks like e to the plus 5t, which blows up uh, exponentially in time. So this is an unstable plant. And if I try to invert this plant with k, we get into this terrible, terrible situation where let's say... Um, Okay, so let's say I try to invert this and I say k equals s minus 5 over s plus 10. Sounds like a good idea. I can just multiply these. I get k times p equals 1. But let's say this is my model. Let's say that p true equals s plus 10 over, and here I'm going to draw this as s minus 5 plus epsilon. Let's say that I'm 0.0000001% off of that pole. So instead of it being here, it's right next to it. Okay, I'm a tiny bit off. My true model has an unstable pole a little bit off from where I thought this pole was. Now, if I look at p times k, or uh, I hit it with k then p. Yeah. So if I look at p times k now, p true, what I end up with is s minus 5 over s minus 5 plus epsilon. And this is about as bad as you could possibly have for a system. So I'll, let me walk you through this. Now I have a system where essentially I still have a pole very close to s equals 5. So I still have a pole here. The system is still actually unstable. There's this unstable exponential growth at e to the 5 minus epsilon t. But now I also have a 0 at s equals 5, like really, really close here. Okay, I should have drawn my x a little to the left, but maybe epsilon is a little negative number. Anyway, I have a pole that is really unstable and an, a 0 right next to it. And so what this means is that this unstable mode is nearly unobservable. So if we go back to our state space observability controllability, if I have a zero in the right half plane at s equals five, then anything near s equals five is gonna be really, really hard to observe. And so what's gonna happen is my system is going to grow exponentially and I'm barely even going to be able to see it in my output y. So internally, my system's going to be blowing up, and my measurement's not even going to tell me it's blowing up. So this is as bad as it can possibly get, where your system is actually unstable, and it's unobservable. Okay, so I can't even tell that internally my system's blowing up and going to hell. Okay, so it's a really bad idea. If you ever have a system with a right half plane pole, do not try to invert it or cancel it. Because if you're even an epsilon off, all hell breaks loose. Your system will be unstable and it'll be unobservable. It's basically as bad as you can possibly get. Okay, so if you have right half plane zeros, you have to do something else to try to stabilize the system. Um, yeah, okay, so that's, uh, and also if I had a right half plane 
If I had a right half plane zero, I also couldn't invert that because then my controller would be unstable. It would have a right half plane pull. So both of those are hard to deal with. This is just a very simple example, but I want you to be aware that inverting these systems requires extreme caution. Okay, thank you.